Thank you for being patient. Good morning, everyone. Welcome. And thank you for attending today's webinar, Plan Today for Tomorrow's Tech, What's New in SP2, hosted by Connect Solutions. My name is Harpal Gill, and I'm an SVP of Sales and Marketing. I'm joined by my colleagues, Paul Davis, Senior Business Development Manager, and Kurt Jensen, Technical Service Manager, and our demo guru. Today, in our presentation, we're going to talk a little bit about um, insights or share some insights from the 2016 Gartner CIO agenda report and share some insights in what's new in Connects version 12 and how they actually help you work with uh, and meet today's needs from the Gartner report. Um, a couple of housekeeping items. Uh, I'll ask everyone if they could mute their phone, please. Uh, we will be taking questions at the end of the presentation. If you could enter those into the chat window, please, that would be great. And my colleague Nick will be taking, uh, taking note of those, and we will address them at the end. We plan on running about 45 minutes for today's session, and I'm going to go ahead and dive right in. So for today's presentation, I'll spend a couple of moments on who we are. Again, I mentioned that we're going to chat a little bit about Gartner's top priorities for 2016 as they see for uh, the top CIO priorities. We'll transition into Connects version 12, and then what's new in SP2. We'll then transition to a demo, and we'll do a Q&A. So who are we? Well, Connect Solutions has been around for over 25 years. Inception in 1989, we um, started off with a, an RMS API and evolved into a SQL access for data sources. Today we support over 150 data sources and really focus on two main technologies, data access and data movement. Uh, we have 3,200 customers worldwide and we are considered a leader in the um, data integration, data virtualization, data access, data warehousing and data replication. Here's a view of some of our 3,200 customers worldwide. Maybe you recognize some of your logos on there. Um, we also have a number of partners, and partners ranging from Microsoft, SAP, Software AG, Teradata, to name a few. So our, the core part of our business is our support for over 150 data sources and platforms. As you can see in this wheel design, we have support for a number of mainframe databases, desktop databases, mid-tier, um, in-memory, big data, and a variety of different applications in the CRM and application world. Um, today we support over 150. We're always continually adding um, a number of data sources on a regular basis. So let's transition a little bit and talk a little bit about Gartner's um, insights from the 2016 Gartner CIO Agenda Report. Basically, the top priorities for CIOs um, for 2016. Gartner goes through an evaluation every year and releases at the beginning of the year what they see as the top priorities for CIOs for the upcoming year. So for 2016, the top 10 items are listed here. I won't read through all of these. I'm actually going to hone in on the top three and talk a little bit about those. So the top three are BI and analytics, cloud, and mobile. And my colleague will actually talk a little bit about how Connex helps you address some of these. But let's, what, are, what is BI? Well, let's drill into a little bit. So business intelligence has been one of the top priorities, top five priorities, actually, for the last five, over five years. Uh, traditional BI, whether you're thinking of ad hoc, querying, reporting, dashboarding, um, to more, I'll say, future solutions or current solutions being cloud and dissemination. Um, we're seeing a lot more of people looking to transition away from some of the traditional BI mechanisms. In fact, Gartner notes right here that Self-service BI analytics is white hot and growing, um, while demand for traditional BI and dashboarding is eroding or in remission. 
And that is mainly because people are looking to get, consume and get more information real time on their mobile device, whether it be a iPhone, Android, um, Windows Phone, or equivalent tablet. And we'll take a look at how Connects addresses some of those. Cloud. Um, cloud is made up of a number of things, and cloud has actually um, been in the top priorities for the last three years and growing. In fact, um, Amazon and Microsoft both released earnings um, announcements earlier this or earlier this year, last month, in fact, and. Uh, Amazon saw significant growth while Microsoft saw almost tripling of their cloud business. So widespread adoption of the cloud, um, a lot more people are trying to leverage and enhance and complement their infrastructure by adding cloud features um, where applicable and where it can drive value for them. Um, with cloud, it actually brings a couple of different challenges as well. It, it forces you to consider um, how are you going to manage governance? Um, what are the cloud computing environments that you need to work into? And what about security and privacy? We'll actually see how Connects enables you to adopt the cloud quite easily without any major or any changes to your internal infrastructure and actually enhance security and provide some of the governance that you need. The last item was mobility. No big surprise here. Mobility has been growing in popularity. Um, we're seeing more and more people um, asking for access to mobile devices, to their applications, to their infrastructure, um, enabling real-time information to make real-time decisions in a corporate business world. Um, organizations are getting more and more requests uh, to get the information and deliver it real-time to these mobile devices. We'll see how Connects actually does this. We'll see how Connects will enable you to deliver information, key metrics to your business, for your business, to any mobile device, being an iPhone, an Android, or a Windows phone, an equivalent tablet. So at this point, I'm actually going to transition to my colleague, Paul Davis. Paul's going to take you on a tour of the product suite Connects version 12, and then what's new in SP2. And from there, we'll learn a little bit of how this all ties into the Gartner components. Paul, over to you. Thank you, Harpal, and welcome everybody today. We appreciate you taking your time to listen to how Connects and Gartner can help you with the Gartner top three priorities. Harpal did a good job of introducing um, what Gartner sees from 2016 from CIOs of the top technologies. What I'm going to do is drill down a little bit into Connects and our version 12, which came out last year, and how we start addressing that. This year, we came out with version SP2, and I'll talk about what's new in SP2 and how that relates. So in the first side, what we have is the ability to show you for BI. In the upper left, we talk about something called the Excel add-in, Excel being one of the most popular BI tools. What we have noticed is a lot of finance people in general take the reports they get out of Tableau or uh, Business Objects or even Microsoft and drill those down into Excel and then crunch the numbers a little differently there, display the information they want. We've actually created a plug-in to 150 databases and platforms for that. Uh, in the upper right, following a, a traditional clock, we have the cloud. Um, our version of the cloud is we believe in everything belonging to Microsoft and everything belonging to Amazon. Um, Harpel talked about the growth that Microsoft has seen this year. It's almost tripling based upon the year-over-year -year projections. That, that is just astounding. Um, the ability that we let you do for that is you can take your existing technologies. You don't have to throw them away. You can keep them and therefore maintain that TCO of when you brought that system in from many years ago. Um, tablets, going down to the, in the lower right. Um, Tablets is where the future is going for reports. You heard Harple talk about dashboards, which were the rage um, for many years and still in use, but that ties you to your desktop. What tablets allows you to do, and I'm sure we all do it anyways, we check our emails first thing in the morning. Line of business people are, are checking reports that are pushed to them. This will give you the ability to have metrics for your business in your specific functional area and see that 
in a, a streamlined um, conditional formatting point of view. And then with our real-time solutions, we'll let you actually get your production data into a reporting system without slowing down that production data. And then based upon your needs, whether it's real-time data movement or it's something that can be done in a longer fashion, maybe in a batch mode every night or in every hour. So let's go to the actual products we have. We'll be showing you a little bit more detail. And actually, Kurt will be demoing these products when he gets to his portion of the webinar. On the Excel add-in, simple two-click reporting to 150 data sources. Not just relational data sources, which is perfect for Microsoft now, but it extends it to data sources that are outside of that area, whether it's the cloud, the mainframe, or it's a SaaS application up in the, um, another area. KPI Sync. KPI Sync is named after true key performance indicators. Basically, business metrics that you have that will let you determine what's important to you, whether it's um, inventory, uh, turnover, uh, days outstanding on the finance side, and push that real time to devices. And we'll go into more detail on that. And then Instant DB Sync, I kind of alluded to that a little earlier. Instant DB Sync is our real time data replication. We also give you the choice based upon your needs if you want to go to um, non real time data replication, and that's with other data sources. But in version 12, we came up with Instant DB Sync. Let's go in a little bit more detail about each of these. Um, and actually, Kurt will show you a demonstration of this. Um, we're extending the number one BI tool that's out there. Um, many reports still consider Excel as the top BI tool. Not all the um, ISVs out there want to hear that, but it's the most widely used tool. We will extend that to the 150 sources we have. And if you take a quick look on the right-hand side, you can see that we've built in connects into the ribbon into Microsoft. And so what that allows you to do with just two clicks, you're able to get any data, pick the table you want, and then display that information back into Excel. All of that is from a safe and secure environment. In extending the security you already have, it's read-only right now, and the information is dropped down into the um, worksheets that you can see within Excel. Instant DB Sync. Um, Real-time data replication from SQL Server, relational databases up on the mainframe like database, going to any relational database out there. There's a host of them that you can see. Um, the best thing about Instant DB Sync is we designed the tool based upon the philosophy that within an hour of implementation, you should be up and running and getting your change data capture records pushed over to a second system for reporting. What this allows you to do is to keep those production systems in a state of um, what they're designed for, to be for an OLTP system, not to have reporting hit against them and slow them down. And we'll go into a demonstration of that. Actually, the demonstration, it's kind of like the, of a clock. You know, seeing a clock is not real exciting, but when you talk about all the mechanisms behind the clock, which is what we're doing, that's the um, exciting part and which part you need, but showing it is not as exciting. SSIS, um, there's a wealth of folks who like to use uh, Microsoft SQL Server integration services to write packages, to write their own code to bring information over. What our plugin, or I should say our add-in does, it extends the capability that you have in packages to now 150 data sources. Um, it will let you, in traditional SSIS packages, you can only do all the records brought over at one time. With our add-in, you'll be able to take incremental changes, have the package read those, bring them over to a source of your destination, from a source of SQL Server, and bring them, um, any source actually, I should say, and bring them over into your target. Great. KPI Sync. Now we're talking about the last one of Gartner's top three. This is mobile devices. What we've noticed in the mobile devices is that with the proliferation of the ease of use of creating applications on a mobile device, you need to get the data there. Well, the data can be locked or it could be in islands of information. With our ability to grab all the data from multiple sources, we'll let you bring that data in, 
let you then set up what metrics you want for your line of business, push that up to the cloud, and the cloud then will disseminate that down to any mobile devices, whether it's an Android, an iPhone, a, a Windows device from a Surface down to a um, Windows phone. And there'll be alerts to let you know when that information is being pushed. So those are what we put in version 12, which came out last year. Let's add on that with SV2. SV2 came out a little earlier this year, and we'll talk about some of the highlights of that. In SV2, um, we've touched on these six major points, I should say six major projects, ranging from Instant DB Sync that I talked about to KPI Sync. Um, for Instant DB Sync, let me just touch on a couple of them. We've um, architected the product to now take advantage of greater use of in-memory caching. Um, across all the products, and we actually mention it within the data dictionary, we've modernized and made a, a more standard look and feel for our GUI for all the tools. Um, KPI Sync is actually quite exciting for us, is that we've extended the way that we're using like, the KPIs and which people can use that. And we've actually made individual KPIs that can go to groups. And you can share them or you can isolate them to just to a certain functional area. Uh, the big thing we notice with the Excel add-in and people's request for us is we've increased the security on that. So we're now we've added another layer of security to all these. Um, so let me take a second and, and summarize what Harple started with by talking about Gartner. And they gave you 10 points on Gartner and we just wanted to address the top three, which is BI Analytics, the cloud, and mobile. Um, what we're going to do now is basically give you a, a summary of how Connects fits into all this. So as we get into the BI Analytics, which we were talking about how to get the data there, um, the first thing you want to notice is that um, we have 150 data sources and platforms that's ranging from Workday from a data source to a database and bringing all that information over and into um, a BI tool. And the tool that does that is our Connects connectors. Secondly, we have Excel add-in. The Excel add-in will actually let you get all the data from the source and bring it right into a BI tool. That BI tool being Excel. And we talked about that two-click system that's safe and secure. Last one, KPI Sync. Um, when you talk about BI, we're actually pushing the data to a mobile device so that line of business managers can look at the different metrics that are important to them. Again, visualizing the data for a BI application and letting you do that. So you're not tied to your desk and waiting for that dashboard to come up. The cloud. Um, Amazon and Microsoft are all over this. From the Amazon Web Services, there's five databases that Amazon has up in their cloud. We support all of them, including Redshift, which is their uh, data warehouse database. Naturally, Amazon Azure is up there. Also in the cloud, you'll see many more applications joining here. The big ones we notice are Salesforce and Workday. We have ways of getting um, APIs into that to read and write from Workday and Salesforce. Um, you have your homegrown databases, you have your store-bought databases, you have your COTS, databases that are tied into applications. When you need to move that data to a data warehouse for reporting, Instant DB Sync and Data Sync can do that based upon your needs, whether it needs to be real-time or it doesn't need to be real-time, it can be done in a batch mode. Um, Data Sync or Instant DB Sync can handle those two requests. Last one is mobile. Um, last one only in terms of what we're talking about and not in terms of importance. Um, we've talked about KPI Sync. The ability, and these are free downloads from the Apple Store and from the Windows Store and from the Google Store, or Android Store, of getting KPI. You can go out there now and see that and pull that software down. Um, KPI is displaying that in a conditional formatting point of view in terms of traffic lighting. Um, red being concerning that you're worried about it. Maybe it's a situation of inventory of shovels for a snowstorm in Colorado. Or it's cautionary, hey, the levels are getting lower or everything's acceptable. And so I don't have to worry about that. You're getting that information pushed to you. So um, 
I was bringing you up to speed on how Connects ties into Gartner's top three components of um, their technology briefings. Kurt is going to come in and show you the products that we talked about. On the BI analytics side, you'll take a look at the Excel add-in and seeing what pieces are there on how to do that. We'll be showing you instant DB sync to do the real-time data replication and then KPI sync also to be part of that mobile device. Kurt? Thank you very much, Paul. Here, let me kick us over to my machine where I have all this set up. And we're gonna go ahead and minimize a couple things here. Uh, first thing I wanna touch base on is the new look and feel that we've put together in regards to uh, our GUI interface and installing the software, as well as the data dictionary manager that we uh, utilize throughout our tool. Um, as you can see, the, the CDD manager, um, it does have a more modern look for those existing customers out there. Uh, you can definitely see it does look a bit different, looks more modern. Um, our GUI interface goes along with that as well. Um, right out of the gate, what I'm going to do is go right into Instant DB Sync, and we're going to talk about our real-time replication tool. Um, now, what this tool does is it will replicate SQL Server data to any relational database out there. Um, I've set this up to replicate SQL Server 2012 to a SQL Server 2014 system. Um, to set everything up within this tool, it's a very simple process. We would simply configure servers. You connect to a, a CDD that you've created that will have a source database in it and a destination database in it. Now, the destination database does not need to have tables. We can create those for you, or if there's existing tables in that uh, database, you can bring those into the CDD as well. Uh, we'll uh, name the replication server, and as you can see, we're going to be running this on my machine, and then the source database name that you're going to be selecting. Once you get into this, it'll give you a list of the active tables that are available within the source database, and in doing so, then you can select them to, ma to make them active and deploy them. Now, within each of these tables, you have the ability to go into the map column section. Now, I've already synchronized this, and you know I've already run through tests, so we already have um, all of our target columns all set up. You have the ability, if you want to drop the target or prior to creating the replications, where you can add additional columns or you can remove existing columns from the source so that the destination will reflect a true shape and feel that you want. Um, once we're done with all this, we simply select the deploy option and that will deploy these replications. Now these replications have already been deployed and once they are deployed you'll have a, a GUI here on the deploy replications tab that will show you what has been deployed within the environment. Um, along with that we have a server status that gives you information about your deployed replications and the servers that are involved. The event producer, the controller, um, and, to show, and the event consumer and how these are operating. So if there's any problems, you'll see that within, within the, the, this GUI interface here. Um, outside of that, it's a replication tool. It doesn't have a lot of things going on in it when you're operating it. What we're going to do is we're going to go behind the scenes and show you how this tool does replicate, and we're going to change some data in our source, and we'll show you the, the changes as they are moved through to the uh, target. Now, right now, well, that's my SQL Server 2014 machine. We're going to go over to, where is my SQL 20? Oh, sorry. Uh, here's my SQL Server 2012 machine. This is my source machine. And as you can see, we have our customer state is set up as TT for our top six records. And here's our destination. And let's go ahead and execute this query. All right, hold on one second. Oh, that's, I'm on the wrong one. Excuse me, let's go into here. Hold on one second. That's interesting. All right, hold on. <laughs> Why is that not coming through? All right, we'll have to figure this one out. Uh, let's go back here and we'll change our data to PPs here. And then we'll go back into here and we'll see our data here. And as you can see, our SQL Server 2012 database now has PPs for the customer state. We'll go back over to here, and this is actually going to be the same, so now we're matched up. I'll have to correct this when I run this. All right, and we'll go into here. We're going to edit, 
and we'll change the states from PP to, we'll go LL. And then we'll go ahead and replace all of those. So that replaces all of these. And we'll go ahead and execute this query. And there's six rows affected. So we'll go back and take a look at our data. And as you can see, our data, our states are now LL. Now let's go over to our SQL Server 2014. And as you can see, our customer states are LL. So it shows how quickly the data is actually replicated. It's going to uh, replicate as quick as the system will allow. Once a write is done to the source, it will be written to the destination. Now in doing this, I also want to come into uh, Excel, and I want to show you how we can view this data through Excel as well. And as Paul was saying, we do have a two-click system where we can actually access the data. Um, we're going to go in here. We're going to use an existing connection that I've already created. And this is for the customer SQL Server. And in comes the data. Now, this is pulling the data in from the SQL Server 2014 database, which is our, our target in our Instant DB Sync tool. And as you can see, our customer state is LL. We're going to go back into our uh, SQL Server 2012. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to uh, change that data once again. And we'll change this from LL to, whoops, and we'll change that to QQ. And we'll go ahead and run this. And we got six rows affected. And we'll see the SQL Server 2012. And why does it do that? Oh, it didn't change that. Find, replace, oh, hold on a second. I didn't replace them. Excuse me. There we go. Now let's go ahead and run our query. And let's go back and take a look at our data. And there's our QQ. Now we'll go into the Excel spreadsheet and we have the old data in here. We'll simply select the refresh button. And as you can see, the data is propagated through to the destination SQL Server 2014, which the Excel add-in is now connecting to and you can bring in your data. The nice thing about the Excel add-in is that, as Paul said, it is a read-only tool. So you have no danger of writing back or overwriting or deleting or removing or doing anything damaging to your source data. Um, you can also incorporate within this, because of the, the Connects Data Dictionary, and a lot of our existing customers who are on this uh, have probably incorporated our Connects Integrated Security, whereas you can take user-level security and break that down to who can see tables, who can see specific columns. So you can also, in, con in conjunction with the read-only uh, read capabilities of Excel, tie into the uh, Connects Integrated Security to pare down uh, who is going to see what data. Uh, the, the nice thing about this as well is within the connects, uh, the connections that you create on here, you can deploy those to other systems. So you can create the queries that you want to deploy in your environment once and then actually deploy those out to your end user, your end users so that they don't have to create their own queries on their own systems. From here, we're going to go into our KPI sync tool, which is uh, let's go and minimize some of this other stuff here. And what we'll do is we're going to go ahead and bring our data dictionary, close that, and we'll bring our KPI sync up. Now, our KPI sync tool, again, this was brought out within Connects 12 when it was released. Connects SP2 or Connects 12 SP2 has added some additional functionality, which really enhances the product. Uh, we have the ability to create user accounts. And what we've specifically added within SP2 is the ability to subscribe specific users to specific KPIs. So we're going to go. We're going to use the test user account today um, when I bring up my emulator. So we're going to pull up the subscribe, and that shows you what has been actually set up for this user to actually see within the KPIs. So as you see over here, we have a plethora of different KPIs that are available, but this user is only going to see these three KPIs. And please do note, one of these Northwest sales is an individual KPI, as well as it's also incorporated into the group sales by region. In doing so, you can have multiple set up for a specific user, but that user will only see the KPI once. Now, once we get into to this, you can set up your users. That's great. The real meat and potatoes of this is actually getting into the actual KPIs that you want to deploy within your environment. And in doing so, we can go into, we're going to international sales here. And 
it enables you to really design what you want to push out to your end users. Uh, the query you're going to want to use is going to need to be a query that's going to bring a single point of data back uh, so that we can then set up our conditional formatting so that you can have your green, yellow, and red uh, traffic lights or, or uh, lights for the image that you've designed uh, as the tile. Um, and so with this, we're going to see that's going to be a yellow because it's between 5,000 and 10,000. Um, if it goes below 5,000, it'll change to red. If it's over 10,000, it'll, it'll be green. So that really enables you to really fine tune what you want to deploy out to your end users. And again, within this as well, you can look at the individual uh, KPIs and see who's been uh, subscribed via a group and who's been subscribed as a individual KPI. And as you can see, my test user here has been uh, this KPI has been deployed to it via the group called Sales by Region. Um, within our group tab over here, this is somewhat self-explanatory. We're going to go into Sales by Region and we'll look at the properties. And what that simply is, is just a group of KPIs that you're going to push out and you can then subscribe a group of KPIs to an individual user uh, instead of going individual KPIs to that user. Uh, we have the ability to schedule these. I've set these up, and we're going to go ahead and just take a look at our sales by region. Uh, for those of you who use our data sync tool, this is going to look very familiar. Um, this is uh, really the, the same functionality we have for our data sync scheduler. I set this up to run every minute, so it's going to update often. Um, and once you do that, what happens is that this KPI will run. Uh, it'll move the data up into the cloud and then push it down to the end users uh, on the mobile devices. If there is data that has not changed, that will not be pushed down to the end users. It will only push down changes that are actually brought through the system. So now we got you the GUI interface and setting this up and how this looks. Let's take a look at how this looks actually on a mobile device. And I have my mobile emulator up here. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to select our KPI Sync mobile application. And we're going to go ahead and log in as that test user that I was just talking about, if I can type properly. And then we'll go ahead and sign in. And then once we do, you'll see we have four KPIs. We have the random KPI, which was individually to, um, uh, subscribed to this user. We have all of the sales that were within the group subscribed to it. And there was also the Northwest that was individually subscribed as well. And as you can see, you still, even though it's been subscribed twice, you're only going to see it once. Um, the random KPI is nice because that will automatically, just every minute, it's going to create a random value. So that will update. But what we're going to do is we're going to go over here and we're going to change some data in each of these sales areas for the Northwest, the Southwest, and the International. And then we'll run these queries. And the last one here. And we'll give this one. There's that button. And then we'll go back into our KPIs. And we've already seen some changes here. The random KPI has already changed. And then what we'll do is we'll simply go and we'll push or refresh this. And we should hopefully see some changes. These may have come through while I was updating data. It looks like they may have. And that's really the practical demonstration in a nutshell. As you can see, we have data that you can push down to your uh, end users via mobile devices. You can set up who you want to see, when you want them to see it, and um, the conditional formatting for each of the KPIs that you've set up, be, be it the green light, the yellow light, or the red light. Um, at this point, I believe I'm going to turn it back over to Harple and we'll continue on. Thank you, Kurt. Thank you for taking for us on a great tour of the product. And thank you, Paul, for giving us an overview of the Connects version 12 and what's new in SV2 and then tying it all back to um, Gartner's top priorities for 2016.
I'd li now like to open up for questions, and while we're waiting for questions to come in, my colleague Nick will be taking them in the chat feature, and we'll go ahead and uh, compile those, and I'll go through those. In the meantime, while that's coming in, I'd like to share a couple of upgrade stories that we had from some of our customers that have made the transition to version 12. One of our customers, a media company, uh, quoted, after upgrading to version 12, we were able to deploy the Excel add-in to empower more workers to have access to the data they needed without worrying of making any changes to the source system or any of the other infrastructure um, corruption. There was no worry for corruption of the data. Another customer quoted, um, this is a, an online retailer quoted that, KPI Sync allowed us to allow our line of business managers to stay on top of their key metrics in real time via any mobile device. And again, with those, we support Android, Apple, and Windows phones and equivalent tablets. We also had a, a state lottery that uh, upgraded their version to versions 12, and they were able to modernize exist an existing data warehouse to now include some cloud platforms like Workday, Salesforce, Amazon, and some other ones. Well, it looks like we've got a couple of questions that came in already. Just before I go to the questions, um, I'd like to point out you can learn more about Connects 12 and Connect Solutions at www.connects.com. You can always email any questions to info at connects.com. And please feel free to follow us on social media at facebook.com, Connect Solutions, twitter.com, at Connect Solutions, and LinkedIn. Now over to you, Nick. What questions came in? Uh, the first question is, I am an existing customer on maintenance. Do I automatically qualify to get version 12? Great question. So if you're already on maintenance, you will get um, SP2, version 12 and SP2. Okay, uh, next question. We have Connects installed already. What do I need to do to get uh, the Excel add-in? If you have Connects already installed, all you need to do is go to our website, go to the Excel add-in, and you can actually download it right there on the website. You'll be able to, it'll ask you to do an install and it'll add um, a component to your um, Excel and Excel ribbon and then allow you to have full functionality as you saw. Okay, uh, third question. Will KPI Sync work with any data source? Uh, we have vSAM and RMS. Oh, great question. So um, as I mentioned earlier in the presentation, we actually support 150 data sources and KPI Sync will work for all 150. So including your vSAM and RMS, but yes, any of those data sources are supported by KPI Sync for dissemination of information to, the, to your mobile devices. Okay, last question. I noticed uh, on your database list, you mentioned Teradata. Can I replicate my SQL server to Teradata? Ooh, actually we have two solutions for you there. Um, so the answer is yes, you can replicate SQL Server to Teradata. If you wish to do that in real time, you can leverage Instant DB Sync for that. Or if you um, wish to do it in near real time, you can leverage Data Sync for that. So looks like that's it for questions at this point. Um, I would like to thank everyone for attending and participating. We will be sending out responses for any um, additional questions that come in after the fact via email and uh, we will be posting this webinar onto our website in the next few days. Uh, I want to thank everyone again as this concludes our webinar.